This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a vacuum tube preamplifier is typically used to amplify the signal from a microphone, musical instrument or other audio source before it is sent to a power amplifier or recording, recording device. Compared to solid state preamps, vacuum tube preamps are known for their warm, natural sound and ability to add harmonics and distortions that can change the perceived musicality of the audio signal. They also have a unique saturation effect that can add a pleasure, pleasing tube warm to the sound. This time I will present you how to make a simple single tube preamplifier with, a, with tone control that includes options for adjusting the bass, midrange and treble frequencies and it also has gain, volume and input uh, sensitivity controls. The heart of the device is ES ECH83 which is a low voltage uh, vacuum tube works with only 12 volts anode supply used especially for ca car radios. Instead of ECH83 we can use ECH81 tube without any modification. Uh, the circuit has been presented in several audio forums and I especially followed, followed the instructions on the Angel Sound blog where you can also find other tube project and everything is neatly drawn and described. The preamplifier is relatively simple to build and in addition to the vacuum tube it contains uh, several resistors and capacitors as well as five potentiometers. The elements can be soldered directly to the potentiometers and tube uh, but I think that the more elegant solution uh, is with a printed circuit board on which the external elements are connected with the flat cables and connectors. At the input of the preamplifier uh, I added a trimmer potentiometer of 1 mega ohm which does not change the high input resistance and at the same time the input sensitivity can be adjusted so even through the device is primarily intended as a guitar preamplifier. With this modification it, it can be used for example with a signal from a PC sound card, radio tuner or CD player. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. I do not have a guitar or other electric instrument so I will test this device with an input signal from the sound card of the PC. Also, for testing, I will connect the preamplifier to a 1 watt tube amplifier with PCL82 tube that I made previously and whose construction is described in one of my previous videos. Unfortunately, you can't really uh, appreciate the full features of this device through a video presentation, but you can at least roughly hear the changes caused by the tone controls. Uh, the gain control works pretty good and it uh, provides very dramatic changes. These changes in a certain position of the potentiometer can, can give a distorted grainy and fusy sound that is especially useful when playing the electric guitar, but in case of listening to music it can be very unpleasant. As for the tone controls, this is an extremely simple so-called tone stacks way of control that was very often used in Fender and Marshall amplifiers but the controls are usually highly interactive and there is 
there is almost always a significant mid-range scoop. The ECH-83 uh, is only getting a little warm, so the cooling is And now a short conclusion. First of all, let me emphasize that it is a, uh, it is about my personal perception of the sound. What is negative for me can be positive for someone. And if you want to hear its characteristics in details, you will have to build it yourself. In fact, uh, my main goal was also to investigate whether this preamp works at all at such a low voltage. At least for my taste, primarily considering the simple construction, the results obtained are relatively good. I say relatively because as a device it works normally, but for quality listening to music you need primary an active tone control, because I mentioned before, in this case the controls have a great mutual influence. In short, this preamp is not good enough for listening to music. However, as an instrument, instrumental preamplifier, it would probably be good 
bearing in mind that the gain potency meter has a large effect on the sound and distortions are desirable in this case. Also for playing the guitar the tone controls do not have such a big role. Uh, in fact Fender and Marshall use this type of control in the beginnings. Finally the device is installed in a suitable housing made of PVC board with a thickness of 3 and 5 mm and covered with a self-adhesive colored wallpaper. In the following you can see the method of making this device. Mm -hmm. 